This is the story of how we found a little baby under a gooseberry bush at the end of our garden. Once upon a time, Mummy and Daddy were living all alone in this big house. But there was no little boy or girl to make it happy. It was very cold and shivery, and there was no noise of a little boy running around and laughing and giggling and playing with his toys. It was very, very quiet. And Mummy and Daddy kind of thought it was lonely without a little boy or girl. One day, Mummy and Daddy were lying in bed, getting ready to go to sleep. And Mummy said, I'd like a little baby. And Daddy was quite cold, so he cuddled up tightly to Mummy to be warm. And Mummy cuddled up to Daddy to be warm because they had no little baby to keep us warm. And we talked about having a little baby. And we did everything we had to do of dreaming of little babies. And then we went to sleep. And every as, as often as we could, we thought about babies. And one day, a long time later, in the winter, when it was very cold outside in December, we heard a very faint sound coming from the end of the garden. What can that be, said Mummy? I don't know, said Daddy. It sounds a little bit like something might be crying. And Mummy said, do you think there's an animal hurt in my garden? And Daddy said, I don't see why. We'd better go and have a look. So we went out into the garden, right to the end of the garden where the shed is now. But at that time, there wasn't a shed, there was a gooseberry bush. But how did the shed come here? Oh, I bought it and built it after you were born, when you were little. Um, we, so we went to the end of the garden and we looked around. We couldn't see anything, but we could hear this little voice going, <laughs> wah, wah, wah. And we looked. And then I looked under the gooseberry bush and there was a little baby, tiny, tiny baby, shivering with the cold. Immediately, I picked it up and held it close to my chest and Mummy then took it from Daddy and held it close to her breast to keep it warm, wrapped it up nice and warm and we ran inside and then Mummy gave it some milk from her breast. Nice warm milk and the baby stopped crying and was very, very happy to drink the milk. And after he'd drunk his milk, he fell asleep in Mummy's arms. And Mummy held him tightly, and Daddy looked at him. And Mummy and Daddy looked at the baby with love in their eyes. And then they went, when it went, and after a while, the baby woke up and went, wah, wah. And Mummy and Daddy both smiled, because the baby was saying, wah, wah, which means, I want some more milk. And so Mummy and Daddy, gave it more milk and then we gave it a little bath together. We, Daddy held its head in its ha in his hands while Mummy washed his body very gently with soap and water and gave him a big kiss. And then it was time for his nap again so they put him back to sleep and then he woke up several times in the night, kept Mummy and Daddy up and down all night it was but we didn't mind because we had a new friend in the house. It was our little baby and then we Decided, said, what, what should we call it? And Mummy and Daddy had a discussion. And Daddy said, you know, I think if it's going to be our baby, we must call it a little boy. We need to give it a boy's name, and we need to give it a name which we can say in English and in French and in Chinese. So Mummy and Daddy started looking for a name which works in all the languages. And eventually, can you guess what name we found? Aiden. Yes, we found the name Aiden. So he called you, it was you we found. So we called you Aiden. And little by little, over the years, you got bigger and bigger and bigger until one day you hadn't spoken yet, but you were having a bath. And Daddy said, when you get out of the bath, we're going to brush your teeth. And you said, teeth. Teeth, and pointed to your mouth. You went, teeth, teeth, teeth. And Daddy said, ah, oh, you just said your first word. So I got my camera and immediately started recording and asked you to say it. And you said it again. Teeth, teeth, teeth. Oh, it's such fun. I was so pleased with you. I can't remember how old you are. Yes. And then you were, it soon started to talk because you could say more and more words little by little. And then later on, 
you could to start with you'd say just one word like milk or biscuit but later on you learn to say bigger sentences like can i have a glass of milk please daddy if i'm good and do my homework can i have a biscuit those sort of things or can i watch youtube kids please you learned to say that pretty quickly didn't you Anyway, so that's what happened. And we brought you up to be a nice, good little boy who holds his knife and fork properly, who looks people in the eyes when he, he talks to them, who says, thank you, please, hello, and goodbye. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and Mummy and Daddy were extremely happy that they had a good little boy who was very well behaved and gets 10 out of 10 for his good behavior. And that's the end of the story tonight. And now it's time to go to sleep.